one of the great joys in my life has been making a friend of and being befriended by that wonderful man, Brendan Flynn, from Clifton in Connemara. Brendan was the, the only big getter and inspirer of the Clifton Community Arts Festival, the one festival in Ireland that nobody ever refused to go to, just out of love for Brendan and respect for what he's doing. One of his great achievements as vice principal of the community school was he had a slogan painted over the entrance door, the mind altering alters all. And it's such a simple thing, a simple sentence, but that has affected generations of people passing through the gate, through the door rather, of that school. He's a great man, he's a great man. And I, I wrote this for him. Um, I wouldn't make any great claims for it as a poem. It's more a verse, perhaps. But um, I just wanted to honor him. And there are quotations, which I would suggest, from various Buddhist texts down over the century, mainly Tibetan. The Buddha in Connemara. I stood in Clifton, watching the tide come in, thinking about the teacher, Brendan Flynn. Dust hung on the wind, I watched it sway in a glinting curtain out across the bay. These particles of dust are not particles of dust. That is why they are truly particles of dust. Back in the town, the lights were coming on, and everywhere there was music, dancing, and song. There are, in that Buddha country, swans, curlews, and peacocks. Three times every night and three times every day, they come together and perform a concert, each uttering his own note. And from them, thus uttering, proceeds a sound proclaiming the five virtues, the five powers, and the seven steps leading towards the highest knowledge. I turned and strolled to where the mountain ash hung its bright beads across the brown stream's dash down from the heathery heights and the cold below, headlong into the sea below. Within a clear, cool cloud, there should not be a sudden, blazing clash of thunder. How much we learn from those who are truly good, the thought struck me unbidden where I stood. All of you should have an upright mind and take a straightforward disposition as your basis. I stand in Clifton, watching the tide come in, thinking about that wise man, Brendan Flint.